How to update a case using Keysight on Westlaw Classic. It is very important to make sure that any case you use in your work product be good law. To be good law means that a particular case has not been overruled by a later decision. A case can be overruled in its entirety or overruled in part, meaning that only a certain portion of the case was overruled by a later court. You can make sure your research is up to date and your cases are still good law by using what's called a citator. Citators are offered by both LexisNexis and Westlaw. Today we'll use Westlaw's citator, which is called Keysight. I've signed into Westlaw and can now choose from two platforms, Westlaw Next, which is their newest platform, and Westlaw Classic, which is the older version. Today we're going to use Westlaw Classic. Don't worry, we're going to get to Westlaw Next in a future assignment. So I click through that link. Here is the main page on Westlaw Classic. Note that I have a few tabs set up, and I'm on the one called Law School. Be sure that you're on the same tab. There are a number of search boxes down the left-hand side of the screen. One of them is called Key Cite This Citation. You simply enter the citation for the case you would like to update. I'm going, I'm going to use the citation for the famous Bush v. Gore case from 2000. 531 U.S. 98. And then I click Go. Note, I don't absolutely have to use capitalized, punc and capitalized letters and punctuation, but some systems are pickier than Westlaw, so it's a good habit to do so right from the start. Here's my Keysight report. It's divided into the following categories. Direct history. This traces your case through the appellate process and includes both prior and subsequent history. Next is negative citing references. This lists cases outside the direct appellate line that may have a negative impact on the precedential value of your case. I scroll down further and I come to related references. This section lists cases that involve the same parties and facts as your case, whether or not the legal issues are the same. You'll notice that there are green stars next to each of these cases. These have relevance. The greater number of stars, the greater amount of time is given to the case that you cited within this new case. So four stars means that the citing case contains an extended discussion of your case, usually more than a printed page of text. Three stars means that the citing case contains a substantial discussion, usually more than a paragraph but less than a printed page. Two stars means that the citing case contains some discussion of this case, usually less than a paragraph. There are no one-star cases on this page, but a one-star means that the citing case just has a brief reference to your case. You'll also see various symbols next to the cases. These tell you at a quick glance whether the case is one you can rely on. If you don't know what a symbol means, just hover your cursor over the symbol and a short explanation will show. In this case, a red flag means severe negative treatment. This is probably not a good case to rely on. If you want a more in-depth explanation of any particular symbol that you find on Westlaw, go to the site map link at the top of the page. From there, scroll down and you'll get to the Help Center. Click on the Help link and then you can enter search terms for your particular topic. I'm going to enter Key Sight Symbols and hit Search. Here's a list of matching references. This one looks particularly good. What do the different key site case status markers, depth of treatment stars, etc. mean? I click on that and then I have to click yet again, but it does get me to the information. The red flag that we saw before means that for a case, the decision is no longer good for at least one of the points it contains or if it was a statute or regulation, it was amended, repealed, superseded, etc. And here, again, are the star symbols as well. I hope this has been helpful. When working on your assignments, please feel free to ask any librarian for help. You can also email us at lawref at colorado.edu or call us at the reference desk at 303-492-3522.